All right, Rocco Fillmore on the the Ides of June 2024, June 15th, 2024. Thought I'd do a video. Just took a shower, so I thought, hey, man, I'm combing my hair. Might as well, I'll do a video. Then, uh, I could get my guitar. See my guitar right there. I love when people do those videos where they got the guitar on the back, and they don't even play the thing. You know, I play the thing. <laughs> I write songs on that thing. But these people, you just don't ever see them play. But they got to put it in the background. Why? I don't know. Are they trying to tell you that they, that they play it, or do they have one, or it's just this kind of a ambiance ensemble thing? It's like music. I like music, so there's a guitar, but I don't play it. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> it's there for show. Give it, inferring that I play it. I'm mean, gonna have musical skill, <laughs> but I don't really. <laughs> but it's inferred that I might, <laughs> or something like that. I thought I'd be funny today. I could be funny all the time if I wanted to, but I don't think people deserve it. One one day you'll deserve it, and I'll be funny for you. I'll be all chocolate bonami and chocolatey, and, and be all. <laughs> yeah. um, so you know, this is me in the back a little bit. See how it's got my here. I'm making the color of my face because I get more sun on my face because usually I'm covered when I'm outside. I usually wear like a hoodie even in the summer. <laughs> you know, because if I ride my bike, it's often windy. But my hair gets in my face and it blows and I can't see the traffic and stuff. So I understand why people wear riding hoods. I guess I understand that now. It's to cover your hair to keep it from blowing in your face. I didn't. So I ride my hoodie. I wear my hoodie like it's a riding hood. So like a little red riding hood. <laughs> but I get the idea of the hood. It covers, yeah, it covers your hair. It keeps it from blowing on your face so you can see. See, I don't need that. But yeah, so yeah, see, yeah, it skin's a lot lighter. Um, yeah, there it is here. Yeah, see how different it is? It's a little, because <laughs> I tan really quickly because of my Italian Mediterranean blood. I'm also a British descent and Dutch, so, but the Italian, usually the Italian, the Mediterranean is a stronger force in the gene, in the DNA, so, yeah, but it's just good, because if you're in the sun, you don't want to burn, you want to tan, you want the skin to protect you, so, there you go, it's very good, see, so you can see, uh, if you're out in the sun, it's warm, it's, you know, it's been, like around in the, in the 80s mostly so but I'm always yeah I'm in the sun for a few hours a day maybe I like to bike ride and exercise that way but then I try to cover it. like I said I work by the hood but yeah I thought I'd do like a longer bit because I haven't done these talking bits for a while I did one like about a week ago but I was like I used to do them all the time but now I gotta do my 240 because <laughs> I used to do them like at like 480 or 720, and it's, it takes some more space on the in my mem in the memory thing. And I got thousands of vids in there, so I'm, you know, and you someone will be like, "Well, why don't you buy more RAM? Why don't you buy more memory so you can?" I'm like I don't know, <laughs> I'm not that computer savvy, man. <laughs> I'm not a nerd. <laughs> I, I'm smart, so I can figure it out. Use, you know, everything I know about computers, I figure it out myself. So everything I do on the computers, I figure it out. But it's only a limit to my ingenuity as an intelligent person of common sense. I don't know all that really, really deep, nerdy stuff, you know. So, you know, I install RAM and, you know, other nerdy stuff. I mean, yeah. Just because I like Star Trek doesn't mean I'm a nerd. Well, I, the reason why I like Star Trek is because in South Africa, when I was a kid, there wasn't that many shows on it. We only had like one TV station. And the TV only broadcast for a certain number of hours at night. And Star Trek was one of the shows that was on. So that's why I got to love Star Trek. There's a show that was called Galactica, the original one. And Buck Rogers. So that's why I like that. And also, I like certain, like Thundercats and then He-Man. Because I grew up with that in the 80s. I was a kid. So it's not like I'm a grown-up who likes Pokemon or something. <laughs> I didn't start liking the stuff when I was an adult. You know, that's different. That's a nerdy kind of thing. You know, like weird nerdy stuff when you're an adult and you play video games. See, I don't do that anymore. I, I played video games when I was a kid. I remember when I got a PlayStation. 
what, like 25 years ago, when, around 2000, when, when the first one came out. Because I was like still pretty young, I was still in my 20s, so it was like, you know, it was like, oh, you know, I was in my early 20s and, you know, around 2000, so it was like pretty cool graphics. I gotta play these games. So I, I was still, you know, I'm still, I'm in, in my 20s, so I was still kind of like, wow, these are pretty cool graphics, you know, because there were some games that I really loved, like Metal Gear and Siphon Filter and Odd World and Crash Bandicoot, I like, and Tomb Raider, I used to play all, all those games, so, when I was in my, in my 20s, and I grew up on Atari, and when I saw the PlayStation games, it was like, wow, that was, yeah, I gotta play this, but now I don't even play video games anymore, since I was like 30, I haven't played video, video games, it's like 30, 35, you, you just kind of go, well, I don't feel like, like playing anymore, it's like when you start watching cartoons, I just stop, you stop playing, oh, you stop playing with toys, you used to love toys, but now you, why? Well, why do you stop loving these things? Is the mind just, it's just not interesting anymore. I don't know, the mind just kind of needs it. At the, you know, you need to play when you're a kid and do all this weird, hitty stuff, but then you don't need it anymore. And you grow up. <laughs> you grow up. But some people don't outgrow it. <laughs> let it grow, let it grow. That's a good song. That's an Eric Clapton song. I love Eric Clapton. Let it grow, let it grow. I love these Democrats who will be like, just because they don't like Eric Clapton's politics, and all of a sudden they'll be like, he sucks as a guitarist. Because <laughs> he's, he's, he's against vaccinations. And <laughs> it's like how immature is that? <laughs> it's like, that's why no one will. You know, the, the Democrats have a good stance. You know, they care about people. But I don't really think they care. I think it's more of a. And empathy to make themselves feel good about themselves. It's almost like a self thing. It's like anything that can make you feel good, people can be addicted to. Anything. You know what I mean? Sugar, drugs, sex. Anything that makes you feel good, people can get addicted to. And I think these Democrats are addicted to empathy. It's an empathy addiction. That kind of good feeling you get from liking people or being good to people, or being, you know, you, get, you do good deeds, and so you get that kind of good feeling. It's almost like a drug. I think that's why it is. It's not that they, they're doing it for these other people, they're doing it for themselves to feel that kind of feeling. They want that feeling. They're addicted to that feeling. That's why I think. That's why, that's why no one really believes Democrats are genuine. It's not like a genuine goodness. That's why they don't sell it because they they're on a good selling point yeah be good to people and help people but they're not really trying to want to help people they want to help themselves by helping people that gives them that kind of good feeling that they're addicted to and the kind of sense of compulsiveness and want that feeling <laughs> they need that feeling <laughs> of you know that feeling that you get that good that goodwill feeling when you do good things and they're addicted to that feeling but it's not about helping those people. They don't care about it. It was just about having that, getting that feeling. And now you know. <laughs> it's true though. See, how do I know? Because I just, I'm kind of commonsensical. I got it. This is like a seven minute, eight minute video, but it's at 240, so it's not, I'm not, I'm not using as much memory as I would normally do. Memory, all alone in the moonlight. I love Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. Uh, I love these musicals, especially cats and dogs. <laughs> cats and dogs. <laughs> Sunset Boulevard, Lump Boulevard, Jerry Rich, Little Scary, blah, 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 blah. Sunset Boulevard. That's another good musical. Alright, so I think I said too much.